Like, I don't think WWE, Roman Reigns might be close to it. We, but you don't have any people that are that over. Like, I'm talking over, over. You are part of a wrestling war right now. Do you think there's a chance that AEW could, you know, uh, take down the big guns? I don't. So that's a that's an awesome question, by the way. And thanks for coming on here. And, and it's good to see. You. It's always good to interact with people. Um, taking the time today. Um, that's a good question. And, and I don't think it's a, it's a, it's a, do we really want to take them down? I mean, is it, is it, is it better that we just have competition? Like that's, I think that's what made the attitude error and the, the thing with WCW and WWE good is there was competition. If you don't have any competition, then ours, as, as I, I feel, these are my opinions. I feel that we're, we thrive on competition whether it's between between wrestlers and doing their thing it's not it's not a it's not a bad thing it's a good thing because it brings out the best in everybody can we have just as good a product as WWE yeah we can as long as we just be us like the minute we try to start poking the bear or try to try to say we're better than them i feel I feel we're not concentrating on best that that AEW can do. Like WWE is always going to be WWE and AEW is going to be AEW. So let's just be us. And if our paths cross and 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 it and it becomes something like that, let it happen naturally. It's it's I I think yes, we have a very good product and we have something that that fans enjoy. It's something different than the everyday thing that you see. You get so much WWE product that you just go, gosh, I wish I could just watch something else. That's the same. It's, it's just like when we go to fast food restaurants, we don't go to McDonald's every single time. I want an option. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I want to go to Burger King. So there's just options. And the more options you have, I feel it's better for the fans. And then they, they can enjoy wrestling as it is. You can see AEW and the product that we have. You can watch WWE. I don't, it, it doesn't matter to me as long as you watch our product too, you know, but I don't think it's, I don't, I think it's healthy to have competition, but I don't think that we need to more or less worry so much about, Hey, can we overtake them? If that makes sense. That's, that's how I look at it. Totally does. Great answer there. Uh, so you were, when uh, Sting came to WWE, you were part of his debut match. Do you think uh, uh, Triple H should have gone over in that match, honestly? And obviously he's uh, doing great in AEW right now. Uh, do you see a difference between how you, he was used there and how he's been used in AEW? Sting's a Sting's an icon. He's a he's a he's a great wrestling figure, and he can still do. He can he still has something that people want to see. You know that's sometimes, and, and sometimes I worry about this as you know performing with the boys. Also, I'm just I'm always that's my biggest thing is do people really care about me? Do they care about seeing me? But they do, and 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 it's the same thing with Sting. You still want to see him because. A lot of the fan base that we have get to sit with their kids. Like the biggest thing for me and the biggest thing that I hear is, hey, when I go to AEW with my kids or my son or my daughter or whatever, I get to show them the people that I grew up with. So it's a good mo it's a good parenting moment and it's a good bonding moment, I feel. It's the same thing with, with me. When people go, hey, the New Age Outlaws were amazing. This is Billy. This is who I grew up with. And now you, you know, I get to see like the Darby Allens or the MJFs or the Jungle Boys. And but this is who your dad grew up with. So it's it's a it's a it's a good bonding moment. And still you can still see people that are that are relevant in the business that were back then. There's not a lot of us left. <laughs> so, so the ones that are in good shape and can still do this, I feel it, it's, it's fun for the, that, like it's just something else for the fans to enjoy. And uh, uh, I need the question. Uh, Owen Hart was brought up some time ago. I am sure he's played a few ribs on you uh, over the years. 
and uh, AEW is also paying tribute to Owen Hart for the tournament which is coming up. So, your thoughts on Owen as a person, as a river, and the tournament? Yeah, you know, I was, we were lucky that we only came in on the back end of when all the ribs like started to go away because I heard, you know, through the grapevine that there was a lot of craziness that they would do in some of the wild. And I was like, I don't want any part of that. I don't want, like, I'm not, I'm not much of a river, but Owen was, and it wasn't harmful things. It was just funny things that you never, you know, that you never really expect from him. So Luckily, I didn't come into the, the the peak of that when they used to do really crazy things. But um, Owen was really good at, and and always, you know, putting the blame somewhere else and never getting caught. I, I think that's the biggest art to ribbing is not getting caught doing it. And he, he was he was a master at it. And and luckily, I never really had to find out about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, two last questions before I wind up. Uh, so um, CM Punk, you've worked with CM Punk elsewhere and you are working with CM Punk now, I, I mean, maybe not directly, but did you feel the paradigm shift when CM Punk came back to wrestling and you were a part of the experience? Yeah, I think it was a great moment. I was there in the United Center when he came out and it was like, this was one of the things that I tried to, like, I literally went out in the arena because I'm, I'm from that, that I like to experience things like that like naturally and in people. I don't want to see it on TV. I don't like if I'm there, why would I like, why would I not go out? Because there was a dude, when he came out, there was an energy in that building. And it literally, like I talked about earth, took your breath away because it's just like the thing that went viral with the guy that started crying because it's emotional. Like people don't, don't associate emotions with wrestling, but that's, that's when you get your best stuff. Like if you're emotionally invested in wrestling, which is hard to do these days, but if you can do that, that's a whole nother level. And, and a lot of these kids don't understand that because they, they only saw it on TV. They never got to experience what it's like to walk out, like to, to wrestle with a stone cold Steve Austin and the place go absolutely insane. Like, insane so and i've been with them all so i could i can literally say i've been in the ring with them against them and it's 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 so emotional that it's that it's that it's super cool and and it's nothing against it's nothing against our talent in any in any in any company like i don't think wwe roman reigns might be close to it we but you don't have any people that are that over, like I'm talking over, over. So when CM Punk made his debut, the place went insane because it's emotional. And when things are emotional, you get a whole different feeling. And I went out there and I get, and I got goosebumps. I mean, I got goosebumps now just talking about it because it is so cool to see that people still are that invested in him after seven years. And he finally came back and it was, it was a great moment for wrestling. And it was something that this younger generation, and I hope they just understood the, the gravity of what that was. And, the, and when he came out like that, uh oh, oh. Uh, oh yeah, one last question and I'll sign out lots of people yeah. on the call. If you had to make a modern version of D-Generation X with AW talent, so who's the new Billy Gunn? Who's the new Waltman? Who's the new Road Dog? Who's the new Hunter? Whoa, that's a good one. Um, wow. Wow, you put me on the spot. <laughs> wow, you stumped me. Um, we, okay, so let's start with the leader. We have to have a leader. So who's who would be our leader? Other than, of course, me, because I'd be the most likely <laughs> Um, let's let's take me out of that. <laughs> let's take because I was the best one of the whole group. So let's take me out. Of that. Um, so I'm a like I'm a big MJF fan. So I'll go I'll go with MJF as as the Triple H guy. X Pac we'd have to go maybe Darby Allen. Um, the New Age Outlaws we'd have to go. Um, let's go Young Bucks. Got to put them in there. Let's go, Young Bucks. Are kind, they're kind of new age outlawish. Um, 
because they're goofy and and we were that's all we were um and then our china would have to be what girl would be our china let's go let's go ruby soho as our china who else do we have that's it right that, that that's it? it that's it uh, just to sign out, uh, I mean, can you please tell our readers to suck it? <laughs> yeah. So if you're not down with the Asian vest here, then we got two words for you. Suck it. 